Hey, Wedding Crushers, Hans here. Today, I want to be just brutally honest. I am, of course, I, when I can on here, I'm super pumped up. I just did some push-ups. I'm like Mr. Hype Guy, but in all honesty, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm scared to death that I'm going to say something stupid, that you're not going to like me. Maybe I'm not cut out to do this. Maybe I'm just, uh, I'm just faking it. I really don't know what I'm doing. And that fear can set in and affect my performance. And it can affect my marketing, my sales, my delivery. It can affect the, the, the service that I'm actually doing. And I think fear can do that for your business too. If, if you don't have 100% confidence, if, you, if you're not like sure, if you have doubts, if you're um, afraid, then if maybe you're telling yourself, man, I don't know if I'm really the best photographer. I don't know if my prices are set. Like if you're afraid at all, it will affect your marketing. If you're afraid, it'll affect your sales calls. If you're afraid, it could affect your service. You could get there and do a crappy service because you're, you're not confident. So I wrote down a list of some things that I think can help build your confidence because confidence is going to help you sell on the phone. If you're confident, you'll be able to sell. It's going to help your website. It's going to help you with the words that you're saying in your marketing. And it's going to help you just deliver a better job if you're confident in what you do. So here's some things that I find that helps me with my confidence. All right, number one is God. Like, I feel like this is a, a higher calling than just doing a J-O-B, right? Like, I get in the Word. I do some journaling. I pray. Um, for me, confidence comes from God. Like, do you have a higher power that you're calling on? Is, it, is, is your business bigger than you? Like you're serving, you're doing something that's really, really cool, really, really life-changing for a bunch of people. So one, God. Um, two, I get uh, confidence in education, like learning some new stuff, reading some books, having a coach. I get confidence in knowing that I know something. It, like once you have a little education under your belt, you're like, yeah, I feel like, I know what's going on. I have confidence. So that's number two is education. Do you have a coach? Do I, ha I have a mentor that says, hey, do this. I don't even think. I just do that. And I'm like, this is exactly what I need to do today, right? Confidence in education. And number three, exercise. It's the weirdest thing. When I started exercising, I just had more confidence in life. I had more confidence in sales. I had more confidence in my business. If, you, if you're lacking confidence, freaking take a lap. Go, go run a little bit. Um, go get a gym membership. Do something. Get some weights at the house. Do some push-ups. Like once, I mean, I'm not an advocate for CrossFit. I don't think everybody should do CrossFit. But once I started doing CrossFit with a coach, I think it's any kind of coach, in, in training, in business, in, in weights. But it's a group setting, and it's a coach. And once I got in there, I went from 18% body fat to 12. Not that body fat has anything to do with it, but my brain, dude, I was so fired up. Like as soon as I'd finished working out, I was ready to go. Just super hype on the phone, calling people. Hey, what's up? This is Hans with Nice Entertainment. Hey, this is Hans with Wedding Crushers. I'm talking to two people at the same time. I'm so freaking on fire. So there's three things that I think that you guys need to do um, to really build your confidence, guide, education, and work it out. Hope that helps, guys. Talk to you soon. Keep crushing those weddings.